up in Armenia. In 1980, I emigrated to the United States. I'm an anti-communist. They threw me out before Moscow Olympics. Uh, there were two chances for prison or out. So I, I got out. I opened up in Altadina first. And after that, I moved to Pasadena. Difficult profession. Suicide is very high among the dentists. But, you know, being immigrant and achieved this much in 20 years, I am very satisfied and uh, all this because of the democratic system that uh, the guy like me, for being foreigner with dogs and then the big nose, mustaches <laughs> to succeed in this country. Yeah, I consider myself progressive. It's, it's looking very strange for a lot of people, but uh, it's difficult uh, when you have this spiritual setup uh, to relate to average people. They don't understand you a lot of times, your style, your actions. But that's what I am, and I enjoy it. I'm thankful to God that I, I'm, I was born like that. I have a capability to risk, to feel the reality like I am. Yeah, I was uh, less fortunate myself. I grew up without a father. Uh, my father died when I was nine. I, I know what is uh, what is it being unfortunate. What is it being hungry or half hungry? What it is? What is it not to have means to enjoy the life? I know that, and uh, I hate seeing fatherless children or homeless people. I believe if you have a possibility, make it. Uh, easier next to you, I go for it. I was in Shane, doesn't have money, no insurance, nothing. He walking around with the cholesterol shit bugger on him for years, years. Last time he was saw then his previous doctor, doctor said you should have been already dead. Diverticulitis exploded. Nobody is doing surgery on him. You know, imagine yourself. Every morning you wake up and all day you see a bag full of defecation on you. You drink and you get depressed, you know. The guy is with the taste, he's a musician, he, he is a proud, proud person. They started sitting here, so I see poor people and unfortunate. I cannot say, just leave my area. If they are all the way, always in the streets, they don't have communications with the Social Security Administration, with welfare office here. If they don't have address to get the mail. The vicious circle, the, the, I think the, the, from Social Security, they have to have agents going into the fields, fields and, uh, and uh, taking care of people. There's uh, legal uh, issues, there's health issues like he, Shane here. Excellent, excellent person. This is the bad situation. I'm a little bit fortunate that they are. I, I have an obligation to to help them as much as, as I can, as much as I my my situation allows me. Mine is visible because they are right here. They do at least they have place to park somewhere to sit. It's very important. Imagine being homeless and. Everybody says, get out of here, get out of here, don't sit here, don't sit here. Yeah, I have to do business, you know, to help my surroundings. I have to make money. Every morning I come here to make money. I mean, this is my work. And what I'm doing is very little. It's, jazz is like, to me, is like food. Your consciousness, your spiritual setup is 
must be familiar, must be uh, accepting the jazz. Not everybody accepts it. Jazz is a very interesting American phenomenon. Uh, and I mean, it very... One of the reasons that I came to this country was jazz. And I enjoy it very, very much. My all difficult times, jazz acts on me like a medication. Jazz was considered as a capitalistic music. Right. It, they didn't want people to listen to jazz, but somehow from Voice of America, 12, 15 a.m. every day by Willis Conover, there was a jazz program and I wasn't sleeping to hear that jazz, even though they were distracting Voice of America and Soviet Union, but uh, I was listening to it. Jazz is freedom, jazz is uh, power. To analyze jazz, I'll tell you what it is. It starts like conscious part. Let's say John Coltrane, uh, my favorite things, it starts like this. Da 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 And it, this is a conscious part. It goes on uh, subconscious. And after that, super conscious, subconscious, not conscious. So that's where you start uh, meditating. It, it's a meditation. If you, the person likes subconscious and superconscious, being in those conditions, uh, jazz is for you. And it's a spiritual food, definitely. It's a gift from black people to uh, to all world. First of all, to America. The most of the people that I admire a lot jazz community, but, uh, almost everybody, Jimmy Smith, Ron Carter, Joe Zavinu, Chick Corea, Stanley Clark, I have the pictures with them. I mean, one of my dreams to be, to listen to them, to enjoy the music that they play. But I can analyze music, I can analyze art. I enjoy philosophy, I attend philosophical lectures. Uh, I don't ever watch any sports. I enjoy uh, analyzing history. Some patients don't like it, but mostly some patients really appreciate that and some patients don't say anything. Some patients say <laughs> some patient even patients even leave my office then when they, <laughs> they they listen to jazz and some people say please turn the music off or uh, at least change it. That's what I am and I cannot function without music. Like natural food or organic food. Jazz is just that's what it is. Uh, your setup, spiritual setup, must uh, receive, must uh, must be according to the music, the vibrations that you are listening. Not this is not for everybody. If you are tuned, you are born with uh, receptors to receive that music, to understand it. Then you are lucky. Hip hop, whatever, is uh, very superficial, very superficial, and uh, you know, hip hop. Uh, what is hamburger? You easy go and a small window opens up. They give you food, how it is made, and everybody gets uh, sick or gains weight. Hip hop, hip hop, all the, those are like fast, fast, easy, easy. Easy. I mean, no any deepness in it, you know. Mainly my friends are all jazz listeners, so all of them are in arts. Nobody's crazy for sports. I don't know anybody that can in the morning discuss basketball or football for an hour and uh, for uh, uh, I mean, to take it so seriously. Twelve people are throwing some ball into the basket and everybody gets crazy about it and their height is uh, on the height of basket and 
and even people kill each other. And lately, like two months ago, in, after soccer game or baseball game, they killed each other. <laughs> I mean, it is crazy. <laughs> yes. I don't know. Take it easy. I see you. One of my friends from Argentina says if there is no football in Argentina, there will be a revolution. So, to give them something to think, to argue this, that eventually it is uh, harmless for society. It was 1,000 years ago like this. And, uh, there are people, uh, um, average people, that uh, they enjoy those uh, small things. So, it makes them happy. The main thing to keep the society, to people happy. If one ball can make them happy and busy, why not? If you are a president or somebody, how you will treat, how you will uh, govern that uh, portion of the population. A lot of money is wasted on, on I would say, nothing. I mean, people. Uh, get some character and make an idol of it and uh, when you analyze the, that character uh, all empty 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 doesn't uh, doesn't qualify for any serious uh, great you know and for us, all of a sudden that person is oh a big big a big somebody I was begging my mother for years to buy a bicycle for me, didn't The first thing I did for my son, I bought bicycles, four or five of them. He never drove them. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I have a BM and a uh, Mercedes. But that bicycle part is still empty. And uh, nobody can fill it up. I, I don't feel like I have a license dental medical license, I have a right to charge people a lot of money daily. It's, I'm getting by whatever I can do. I'm not an angel, but you know, I'm trying to do my best. If I can afford uh, supporting two children in the universities, I have a house, I have two dogs, everybody is happy. <laughs> I don't want anything more than that. I'm, I'm typical George. I'm typical George. Whatever you do, it comes back to you. Definitely it comes back to, to me.